beautiful for yourself. This may be a reading that may resonate with you if you happen to have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, seventh house, dominant in your natal chart, or if you happen to be cross watching for someone with those placements. There are some things, Aries Nation, that will guaranteed resonate in this reading, and there are some things that you might need to throw out. Listen to this reading with an open mind. Take what resonates from this reading and let the rest of it go. Please don't make any rash decisions based on a general reading. If you would like a reading based on your own personal energy, you can, of course, book a reading on my website, which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com. Lastly, Aries, we're going to go over some topics that might be a bit sensitive. If that's not the type of reading that you came in search of, you might be better off clicking off this reading. Otherwise, those of you who are ready to take a deep dive with me, let's take a look at what might be going on over the next seven days. Holy Spirit, show me what you have for the Aries Nation. It seems like you got a lot on your mind this week, Aries. For some of you, what you have on your mind is starting over. Maybe there is a new beginning that maybe you're um, dealing with or you're thinking about. And maybe there is tension between you and someone. Maybe you are fighting with someone. You could be fighting your own thoughts, really. But I think this might have something to do with something that's going on around you. Because this does feel like maybe there is arguing. Maybe literally. And maybe that's something that you're frustrated by. And perhaps that's what's on your mind this week. Your money. You're definitely thinking about your money. You might even be waking up from some bad dreams. But it seems like maybe it, you are. Maybe there's some residual anger that you're dealing with. You gotta be dealing with a Taurus. Or you are the Taurus Aries. So the overall energy for Aries, I mean for Taurus as well. Anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. So something has you pissed off this week. Or there is someone angry at you. It seems like maybe you're really just frustrated with someone. Or you're frustrated with some sort of cycle. It seems like something happens over and over. And... Um, Yeah, maybe something happens at the beginning of every month. Or maybe there's something coming up that you're worried about. It looks like you're going from anger to guilt. This is not your guilt. Then there's a Scorpio around you that might be feeling guilty about things. Guilty may be about something that someone said. Seems like the source of your arguing is, is it has something to do with maybe some third party invasion. Maybe there's somebody butting into your relationship. Right now, you're just having issues with your partner. Maybe this animosity is somewhere else in your life. It could be at work. Or that could be or that, that could be where the fighting is. Yeah, it's definitely a Taurus. There's an earth sign. It could be a Virgo or Capricorn that we're talking about. It seems like you are. Mm -hmm. you're, you're nursing some old wounds. Emotionally, it seems like maybe you're trying to get over something, get over someone. Okay, and maybe that's been frustrating. Seems like, like a p particular person or an angry situation, something that triggered your anger may have you feeling frustrated. It seems like something just has you feeling like you just want to give up. But it, it also feels like you're waiting for something. I'm not sure yet what you're waiting for. Like something is getting closer and you're waiting. Maybe you feel like all you can do is wait. This looks like there's something that you need. And I think you're worried about the outcome. It seems like you could possibly even be having some health issues. <coughs> mm -hmm. You're releasing something. Mm -hmm. You waiting for somebody to get released? Mm -hmm. Like you're releasing some emotions, okay? It's that kind of week, Aries. It's going to be an emotional week for you. 
you're frustrated, you're tired, you're angry. Something is disturbing your sleep schedule. Meanwhile, you might have a, a legal situation that's going on in the background of your situation. It seems like maybe you're struggling to let someone go. Because it does look like you're, you're you're having animosity with someone. It seems like Aries Nation or Crosswatcher, you really genuinely love someone, whether or not this is platonic or this is a romantic situation. But you feel like you can't seem to get along with someone. Or you're fighting on a toxic level with someone. And it seems like you feel defeated. And it seems like you may feel this way in front of a lot of different people. And this could be someone humiliating you this week in front of a whole bunch of people, unless this is you, um, unless this is you doing this area. There could be someone looking at you this way. There's also a Libra in your situation. Yeah, it just seems like you're down. You're depressed. While you're waiting for something, maybe you're waiting to make a decision. It seems like if you are making a decision, you might be making a decision to leave. Some of you, you're waiting for some sort of correspondence. Or maybe you're waiting for someone to get back to you. Maybe you did send a message to someone, Aries. And maybe it went with no reply. And that has you wondering. And it seems like it's affecting your day-to-day. -day because in every single card, it, it just looks like you're feeling discouraged. Unless these are people around you. This feels like this is just you in different scenarios throughout the day. What is Aries worried about spirit guides? Maybe you're worried about a Leo. You're definitely concerned about a financial situation. Like I said, maybe month after month. Returning. Yep. It's like you're returning back to the same issue. It could be that someone else, someone could be returning. And maybe that's what you're waiting for. But yeah, you got a financial need. It seems like you could be going to the bank to borrow some money. But some of you Aries could be robbing Peter to pay Paul. You might be getting a loan. You might have to take out a loan. Or somebody could possibly be helping you with something. It seems like somebody doesn't want to ask for help. Like almost like someone is embarrassed to ask for help and at the same time someone feels guilty for asking i don't know if this is you fighting about money with someone a financial issue aries or cross watcher maybe it would be a good idea to find an outlet to your frustration maybe you might be going back to the gym some of you travel for a living by the way or some of you might be dealing with a, um yeah an outlet maybe this is martial arts you know what i mean it seems like maybe you're trying to keep in shape or there's something maybe um maybe your spirit guides are suggesting maybe there's something else you can do to kind of occupy your time something constructive that you could be doing while you're waiting okay because it seems like uh, i don't know aries there's just a lot of frustration that it seems like you're dealing with maybe there's a lot of airplanes maybe you live near the airport Really and truthfully though, this looks like maybe you want to get in touch with people, with someone in particular. Because it looks like there's some type of past issue that's on your mind this week. Either this is someone having a past issue with you and someone, um, yeah. Especially this is a scenario where things are over. Some of you, you're realizing that something is over. Okay. And it seems like maybe you're struggling with having to make a decision to walk away from this. Maybe deep down inside, you do feel like you had something good with someone. But now you're realizing, you know what? It's time for me to be happy and it's time for me to leave this behind. I think that there is a major decision that you're making when it comes to that. Now, some of you, this feels like this is, um, I mentioned to you, a third party situation. I think somebody could possibly be gaslighting you this week, Aries Nation or Crosswatcher, trying to convince you that maybe what you think you saw or what, they're, what you do believe might be going on, especially when they go someplace and you're not allowed to go. 
okay because it definitely feels like someone is shutting you out or they're going places to do their their sneaky work okay they're creeping and somebody may try to talk you out of what your intuition is telling you somebody might try to convince you that what you're thinking or what you're saying is all in your head but truth be told, Aries Nation, you didn't imagine it. Somebody's playing games with you. Some of you, this already happened. And like I mentioned, you may have gone ahead and taken the step to make a firm decision about walking away. For some of you, somebody feels it. They know it. They know it's just a matter of time before someone walks out the door. They know it. Okay? And it feels like deep down inside, the root of the issue is self-hatred. It seems like someone is dealing with a lot of internal issues, things that have nothing to do with you or this relationship. And it seems like somebody is realizing that they need to work through some situations. It just seems like it's very difficult for someone to change. So within, it seems like they're, they, they, they know, they're aware that they need to change something in order to make things better with a relationship. But it just seems like someone is very resistant to this fact. They don't want to change. I think if you are fighting with someone, I think the tension will ease up. I think that someone may come back around. It just seems like maybe some, someone needs time to come to their senses. And then maybe the two of you will talk things out. But it seems like in the meantime, both of you might be worried about the situation. Just really thinking about it. I think that there is someone that does want to come back and right their wrongs. Okay. Please let's make it clear. Somebody feels guilty about the way that something went down this week or in the recent past. And somebody feels like maybe they pushed you so far away, Aries Nation, that there's no possible way that you're going to come back this time. That there's no apology that's going to fix the situation they feel like they absolutely pushed you over the edge i think that somebody might be returning i think that there is someone that wants to right their wrongs connected to the past some of you this is your own father or this is a family member that we're dealing with that we're talking about it just seems like there's a lot of tension, a lot of arguments, and a lot of stress that might be going on within the household. If it's not going on within the household, it's definitely going on within the four walls of your own mind. You're stressed out about something. You're lashing out, reacting to certain situations, and then regretting it in the end. Pushing people out. It seems like you have a wall. Yeah, That's, that's what I'm sensing. Some of you, what you're worried about or what's on your mind is a court situation. A legal situation. The legal situation has something to do with money. And it could be connected to your home, possibly. <coughs> Talked about a revolving situation. Um, a situation that happens again and again, month after month. You're in the same cycle. for some of you it's a money cycle you're going to court oh didn't i mention some of you could be bailing somebody out of jail you might be getting some sort of legal advice you might have to lawyer up or get some sort of legal advice about something what is this about oh, some of you might be going to get your taxes done if i didn't say that already what is this legal situation about what are you seeing a judge about yeah, it seems like it has something to do with taxes. Maybe that's what you're worried about. As we dig into what you're worried about, it kind of shows me a lot of different things. You're worried about a living situation. It seems like maybe it is getting closer to maybe um, time to looking for a new time to look for a new place. Okay, because it, it definitely feels as though you're moving, and maybe you're waiting to hear back from a place that you've looked at. Okay, this seems like some of you might be interested in like marriage counseling. Okay, so I mentioned 
that someone is possibly coming back. There is an ending to a relationship. And it seems like it's temporary. And it seems like someone comes back to try to work things out. Yeah, see, somebody's waiting by the phone. Okay. Again, someone's waiting for your phone call. Aries or cross watcher. Or you're, like I said, you're waiting for someone to get in touch. Maybe it has nothing to do with a relationship. But if it does, it definitely feels like someone could be thinking about going to a marriage counselor and maybe working things out. Maybe possibly getting a third party to diagnose your relationship. Some of you, it feels like maybe you're really working on something financially. Okay, you have a financial goal, but maybe you feel like you, you can't get any type of traction with something that you're working on. And some of you, you're just kind of worried that maybe it, it has something to do with your career. Maybe you're feeling like you're kind of falling from grace or something. I don't know. But there's a lot of delays and it feels like it has something to do with you. You might perp you might be delaying something and it seems like you might it's due to some sort of discouragement. You feel discouraged about something. And maybe this is you sh kind of shutting people out. Or you're dealing with someone who does not really want to discuss their emotions. Or that's just you this week. You're like, let me be alone so I can deal with what I need to deal with. Give me some space. You know, like I said, it may be that type of week. Okay, so like I said, if you're fighting with someone, it just seems like you are in some type of emotional pain. But I do feel that someone may come back around Aries Nation or Cross Watcher to try to work something out or talk something out with you. It just seems like... Um, you're just going through it this week and maybe you're confused about a few things and maybe it's kind of difficult for you to cope under a lot of pressure that might be going on especially financial pressure and like I mentioned you have a legal situation that might be going on in the background of your situation and it seems like maybe you're not sure what to do about it it seems like it's just really frustrating you and maybe you feel like you can't seem to come up with a solution it seems like whatever problem, whatever this dilemma is that you're overthinking and overly worried about this week, Aries Nation. I'm sorry. Yes, Aries Nation, it feels like it's necessary to come up with a new solution. The old solution isn't working. You might have to find a new way of dealing with things and release the old. It feels like there is a need to start from scratch. Okay. But it does. It feels like you're lawyering up, getting some sort of legal advice about something. Maybe this is you waiting to get in touch with your with a lawyer. Yeah, because some of you, you are thinking about divorce. You're thinking about parting ways. And maybe somebody has their lawyer on speed dial. It seems like you're expecting the worst with this legal situation. Wow, every single time. I promise you, I'm trying to see what has you in this state of mind. It's like over and over. Like this whole month. Why is the month just started? Maybe recently, okay, yeah, you're going through, maybe you're having some physical pain in your body. Some of you, maybe you feel like you're making a lot of sacrifices and maybe you're not sure if something is worth the sacrifice. Maybe something there's something you want to free yourself of. It could be a relationship. Yeah. That's what you're waiting for. Okay. It seems like you're needing to plan something out. And it seems like you can't make plans because things are pending. Things are up in the air. Maybe you're waiting for some money. You're waiting for a legal situation to bring some finances to you. Okay. Some of you feels like you're, you're um, going through some sort of rejection. It just seems like there's a lot of things kind of running through your mind this week. Like you're worried about mistakes like you don't want to make the wrong mistake 
the, right, the wrong decision. I think that's something that's overwhelming you. But it's definitely, definitely that this waiting is causing you to feel anxious. It's causing you to feel nervous. And it seems like there's a choice. Yeah, like I said, you're going to have to make this choice pretty soon. Because it seems like the time is near or it's coming close. Or you're going to have to make um, a choice. And maybe you might be getting a second opinion about this choice. From someone else maybe somebody has been through a situation similar as you and maybe this is who you're going to to talk things over about and I think maybe something might bring you a sense of calm a sense of peace about your circumstance it just feels like your body feels very tense this week and you may have to find a way to release the way that you're thinking about things because like I mentioned, the old solutions are not working. You gotta come up with some new ones because it seems like you're stuck. You're ruminating and then you're reacting to the thoughts that you're having. And maybe this is you lashing out at people around you because maybe nobody knows what's really going on in your head. You know, they can kind of maybe sum it up in their head. They can kind of like maybe assume what might be going on with you, Aries, but it seems like nobody truly knows. It seems like there's something that you're dwelling on, maybe a memory, maybe someone passed. And maybe you're dwelling on that. It seems like maybe this week you're just really missing someone. And it's difficult for you to release the memories that you had with someone. It's difficult for you to let someone go that may have passed on. It's just hard for you to accept a situation that might be going on with you. Some of you, this court situation has something to do with your baby's dad. Or this is your relationship with your own father. That might be who's returning. Maybe you just don't get along with your dad. Maybe you and your dad are like oil and water. And that's just the issue. There's someone that maybe doesn't know how to fix a relationship after they've run it into the ground. And this could be someone at a distance from you. Or you could possibly be traveling to go and see someone. Like somebody doesn't know what to do. They don't know how to fix this. And I think somebody has maybe possibly seen you move on with someone else online. It's, it's like something is going on online. Maybe some of you work online. Somebody might be coming across something. Yeah, it's looking like somebody might might discover the fact that you've moved on with someone else. And it seems like this is what kind of brings that guilt and that regret. It seems like somebody lost you. Okay, so Aries, for some of you, somebody is putting on an act. They're pretending like they couldn't care less about you. But it seems like in someone's private time, someone's really kind of sulking over this. Like I said, you got a lot going on. You got a lot of pressures. Maybe the, um, what do you call it? The semester is over. You got this card that says nearing. Maybe you're on spring break. I don't know. But maybe the end of the semester is coming in. Maybe the pressure is starting to get to you. Okay. It just seems like this week you might need help, Aries. And maybe this is you embarrassed to ask for help, like I mentioned. Yeah. And it seems like you might. You might get that help. It seems like you might have to kind of reach out for help this week, Aries. And um, w with regard to something that might be going on. And for some of you, your, your kids might need tutoring. And that might be the issue that maybe they're struggling with. Okay. Because there's definitely something here to do with daddy issues. 
or some type of hurt, disappointment having to do with a father that maybe is not there. Okay, like I mentioned, it seems like work. Work, your finances. What's going on with work, Aries Nation? Maybe you're looking for a job. Maybe this is you online. And maybe that's what this was. Remember I was mentioning that there's no traction. You're looking for a job and maybe you feel like you're coming up empty. And that might be what has you kind of frustrated and pissed off. It might be that. Okay, once again, conflict. So if it's not going on with you directly, it could be going on with someone around you that might just really be going through it. <coughs> or maybe this is you at work. Maybe you are. Maybe you're fighting at home. You got issues at home and you're going to work and what's going on? Yeah. yeah. If it's not you going through it, then it's extended family. And maybe somebody might be um, giving you a phone call. Maybe they're getting, an advi getting advice from you about what to do about their situation. Okay, Aries, you might be going grocery shopping this week. <coughs> You might need some time by yourself. Maybe you're going away. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. You more, you know more than someone thinks. Okay, somebody, again, somebody is telling you something. They're thinking that you, what does this card says? You didn't imagine it. You are watching somebody. Or you have come across some receipts. Especially online. Right. Somebody's watching somebody. And somebody has gathered the information that they need to figure something out. I don't know what this is about. So I'm shuffling. And then it comes out again. Nearing completion. You got nearing and then nearing completion. And I'm asking spirit guys, what is it? What's nearing completion? Gestation period. You are obviously, we're circling right back. You're waiting for something. It's going to be necessary for you to wait for something. And then it seems like in the end, you're waiting for something and maybe you're feeling lost during this waiting period. Possibility for union. Okay, that's what I'm sensing. Maybe that's some of you waiting for somebody to come back. After there's been a fight, you're waiting for someone to come back. You're waiting for someone to turn, to return. And so, yeah, I think that maybe there is a possibility that you might come and find, you might come back in contact with someone. But I think until then, it seems like you're, you're just going through it. Every time I'm trying to see what's going on, it just seems like spirit guides keep showing me another scenario and another scenario and another. Your mind is constantly moving. You're thinking about this situation, that situation, and then you end up feeling lost. You're thinking yourself into a whole loop. Yes, you're needing help with something. The universe is definitely stepping in to help you. You're receiving some sort of blessing that you've been waiting for. And it seems as though things have been difficult for you, Aries. Now, with this help coming in, it seems like now, now you're able to make some sort of progress towards some sort of goal that you have. But it seems like you're, you're dealing with some sort of maze, right? Like you're not sure what to do about something that you're dealing with and it seems like your guides are saying the answer is to listen to your intuition your intuition is going to reveal a lot of things about maybe some things that you're wondering in the back of your mind but maybe you have no tangible proof your intuition is going to fill in the blanks of situations where you feel like you're not sure how to move or what to do or how to behave in a situation. And it seems like it's it's been a thing of focus for you. Like it's been difficult for you to focus. There's some sort of task that I feel that maybe you, you feel called to do this week. 
maybe that's you maybe you are diving into something and maybe it's nearly coming to a completion once again cycles circles clarity begins with the eye of the storm i think it has everything to do with the way that you're thinking because you're thinking in circles it may feel like your life is moving in circles a circular cyclical pattern and it seems like you have control over that to some extent okay like i said it feels like you're planning and because things are so up in the air for you right now it feels like it's you might feel that it's difficult to plan did i say you got some blessings coming in i remember a rainbow is just white light unpacked even when life seems dark, it is still full of blessings waiting to be uncovered. Counting them will bring back the rainbows to your day. Yeah, it seems like that's the issue. It's, it's some gloomy thinking that you're encountering this week. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, yeah, let's talk about your money. And like I said, you're working on something. Maybe you feel like something has been fruitless. It hasn't, it, it, you, you've been really putting your energy towards something. And you feel like you haven't gotten the um, results from something that you've been working very hard for. It's just a lot. Okay. Like it seems like you want to move. Maybe that's what the financial goal is about. Maybe, um, or maybe you just want some more freedom when it comes to um, being able to spend or whatever. And it seems like maybe there's something that um, maybe you need to clean up with maybe your record. Maybe it's, your, it's, it's some credit repair. This week when it comes to your spending, it's going to be, this isn't the week to really go out and splurge. Seems like you've had a spending issue towards a frost watcher. Either it's you or it's someone around you that's been dealing with overspending. This week, it feels like maybe it's, it's a good idea to tighten up a little bit. You might decide to create a budget and do the best that you can to stay within that budget. Okay, because like I said, it feels like it's a financial situation that has you kind of frustrated. And maybe this is you kind of like waiting for your next payday. And maybe payday isn't, it's, it maybe is coming up, <laughs> maybe it's at the end of the week. You make you live in paycheck to paycheck, like we talked about. I don't know if you're going to a payday loan place, if this is what I'm seeing. Okay. Maybe you are looking for a loan. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> maybe you have applied for a loan or you're asking someone for help, it seems like you get the help that you need or there's a loan that is approved for you. It's a home loan possibly. You might, like I said before, have to kind of cut some corners and maybe um, put some energy into repairing your credit. Yeah, and I think you'll definitely make some progress. So if this is you, you have a goal to own a home or to get a home loan, definitely see that coming in for you. Okay, because it seems like that that's the frustration. Something has definitely been at a standstill for you. And maybe that's the situation. It has something to do with your home. And your and, and it feels like your home and your money are tied together. Like it's it's all connected. Yes, thank you. You're about to to receive an improvement to your financial situation. Yeah. And this might have something to do with a job opening dispersing i mentioned to you a loan or some type of unexpected cash that comes through this week seems like maybe there could be some money that could be dispersed to you you might be receiving some money pretty soon that's what i feel now we're gonna see what's going on with this court situation yeah it's gonna give you the ability to relax i promise you somebody thinks they're slick Somebody thinks that they're getting away with something. Somebody sees you as naive and they think that they can get away with something. I think you already know. And random, I mentioned to you something that's going on online or whatever. Maybe somebody, this feels like this is possibly you're being hacked. 
somebody might be tracking your movements online or just kind of like i see this card that says following so i definitely feel like for some of you maybe somebody is kind of tracking your movements random some of you it seems like somebody's trailing you and um what does that card say you didn't imagine it your intuition may have told you that maybe something weird and you know kind of strange was going on use divination tools to help you decide trust your intuition no matter what maybe you do use divination tools or maybe you might be using some sort of divination tools maybe you're witchy taurus maybe you do magic this sort of thing speaking of that for some of you i think maybe that did go down um we just had a full moon the cauldron and maybe not all of you do baneful things but for some of you someone does and that might kind of give you some sort of clue as to why things have been just at a standstill where you feel like you're kind of running in place and the pressure is mounting on you because of a situation it feels like somebody might be trying to stop something that you have going on but we talked about gradual progress and increase i said it might just be that you're in the gestation period and it's time to wait and while you're waiting, it seems like nearing completion is what this card is saying. Now you might see things begin to move move easier. You're seeing an increase. For some of you, maybe you are a business owner. And this is you kind of frustrated that maybe your sales are dry. Okay, Maybe you work online, like I mentioned. That might be something that you're frustrated about. But it definitely feels like there's going to be an increase. It feels like you're more in demand. I said you're worried about falling from grace be ready because it feels like the pressure is on you it seems like you're now having more traction drawn to your business and um it seems like maybe work was scarce for a minute and now it feels like you're going to be very busy very focused or maybe you might feel like the phone is kind of like ringing off the hook okay like i said there's going to be an increase to your business possibly for some of you and that may bring in some income for you for some of you maybe you're looking for a new stream of income maybe you're thinking about education maybe it's an educational goal maybe this has something to do with student loans maybe you might get something straightened out maybe you might need to talk to someone at the school about a student loan situation okay but there's definitely a conversation about money and if you feel this are you getting lost you know, you're literally getting lost when you're going someplace and you might need to stop and ask for directions or look something up online to kind of figure out how to get to where you're trying to go. Yeah, it seems like it, or this is like in a spiritual sense. It's like, I don't know what to do. I feel directionless. You're going to be able to find your way. Spirit guides are showing up this week to give you the roadmap to something to help you figure something out. Literally. And it does. It feels like maybe you've decided to maybe not speak to someone. It seems like you've retreated. You kind of pulled away. You've pulled back your energy connected to a particular situation. Somebody may want to talk to you. Okay. This could definitely be about some sort of professional endeavor. But it definitely feels like it's about a, a money situation. All right, you're clearing out constantly conflict with someone and as you got to go to the store maybe you might need to pick some things out of the store yeah it seems like some things that going been going on that you might feel are absolutely unfair to you and some of you might be dating someone that you might feel is full of themselves someone who's careless with your heart maybe somebody likes to get a lot of attention somebody could possibly be a celebrity I think you might be dealing with someone that keeps pushing you away. They're mean, you might feel. They keep pushing you away because this is how they protect themselves. And it seems like one of you just keeps trying no matter what, no matter how much someone keeps pushing you away, it seems like you still keep trying to draw closer to them. And it just seems like it's just 
that that's the frustrating part is like you're realizing that someone's not really going to change okay this week there's a problem there's a situation that's been causing causing you stress and it seems like rather than thinking yourself into a circle it seems like your spirit guides are saying find brainstorm find maybe some different ways to to come up with a resolution to this issue for others of you it feels like you're having a hard time getting your point across to someone because you might feel like someone just cannot seem to be quiet or they over talk you they try to dominate the conversation someone wants to be heard this week okay because it feels like someone may want to get something off of their chest someone that you're dealing with comes across as non-confrontational um but and, and they're a bit fearful about maybe having a conversation with you where they feel like they're getting nowhere or if they do talk things out with you that maybe you're going to be very quick tempered and that you might really say some very hurtful things to them and they already have some resentment that they've been building up and this may have something to do with a Capricorn. Somebody feels like maybe you're just very firm. You're, you're, you're not willing to flex. Uh, flex. Maybe somebody is flexing. <coughs> I didn't say you're going to the gym. Um, yeah, maybe they feel like you're inflexible or that you're too firm. Definitely, it feels like somebody is suspicious this week. Um, and that's why somebody's watching. Trust. Somebody knows more than you might think. They've come across some sort of receipt. Okay? And I think you might be dealing with someone who may have said some things that you're still hurt about. I think somebody is struggling to apologize. I think inwardly, towards the cross watcher, someone knows that they've hurt you in some sort of way, pushed you away, but they just don't know how to apologize. Especially if this is someone that you used to date. It looks like somebody is looking for you everywhere. Maybe in other people that you, you might come across something online and maybe somebody's just dating a replica of you over and over again. They're looking for you everywhere. And if that's what pushed somebody away, they regret it. Like I said, somebody's not going to cop to it this week. Somebody's definitely lying to you about something and they're going to end up regretting it. And like I said, somebody might pretend like they don't give a care. But I think somebody genuinely loves you. Or this could be admiration. This could definitely be something that's said online or said publicly. And someone could be flat out denying um, their love for you or their adoration for you. What's going on with that word? Thank you. You're dealing with a Leo. This is exactly what it is. Somebody... Either this is you, you don't like somebody. You, 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 like I said, this feels like this is adoration, right? You got this card that says self-hatred. So I think that that's what someone is dealing with. Somebody might feel mediocre in comparison to you or you. This is you making comparisons of yourself. It's like you really love someone. You think that someone is great or you think that, that maybe, I don't know, you think somebody is better than you makes more money than you definitely some sort of envy mm -hmm. somebody's putting somebody on blast somebody doesn't like what you're saying or it's how you say it or whatever what's going on what is this whole situation this feels like this is like insecurity or someone, like I mentioned to you, feels very mediocre around you. What is this with the moon? Maybe Aries is your moon sign. Maybe it's not your sun sign. Yeah, somebody might be holding on to something that you said. Something that was said a long time ago. Somebody still might be pissed about it. But what is this situation? Somebody a smoker? I feel so. 
or this week be somebody wants that smoke maybe they, they're ready to fight right it might be in their body language i don't know if this is literal but somebody doesn't like you yes thank you somebody is saying something to you to piss you off and it seems like Aries somebody's obsessed with you they can't stop thinking about you they like you they admire you but what's the issue I don't understand you're the best I got that for Aries. You could be the best thing that ever happened to them. Like I said, maybe somebody's watching you move on and they're they're pissed off about it. Maybe somebody does still love you. But I think mm -hmm, so many things are reminding you of this person. I think this is somebody at work. Somebody's pissed off at something that you're saying. What is this, Spirit Guys? instinct your instinct might be up <coughs> about somebody that has their eye on you this week or aries you have your eye on someone you have this card that says i regret lying to you maybe this is to the public because like i said something could be going on online what is this person's problem? Trickery. This is what I mean. There's definitely some sort of lies being told. Something about this situation is sketchy. Or someone's intentions. Yeah. It's like what someone is saying could be causing a lot of confusion. Like I said, whatever this is with work, going on at work, it feels like it's, it's catching on. It's causing a lot of attention. Yes, thank you. This is exactly the case. People are seeing what's going on. Okay, it's a facade. Well, we already talked about the facade. Somebody pretending they, they, that you don't that they don't care. Okay, this is definitely a facade. But what is this person's issue at work? Why can't they stop thinking about you? Yeah, see, this is going on online, on television, social media. What's this person's problem, Spirit Guides? Maybe this is somebody misunderstanding what you're saying. Maybe so. what this feels like to me some there, there could be some sort of misunderstanding somebody could be misinterpreting a message yeah and then somebody plays victim they feel like you're talking about them so it's something someone may misconstrue what it is that you're saying and they're reacting to it I said this is somebody spreading confusion about something lying about something got this card that says I regret lying you do have a Virgo in this reading okay this is exactly what this is this is insecurity I said somebody might feel very mediocre around you or you feel mediocre around someone and somebody might be saying some things to you out of jealousy or insecurity like I said it feels like somebody they don't just like you they love you this feels like this is like borderline obsession mm -hmm. but see somebody's gonna try to mask it and try to act like no 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 that's not what this is yeah like they're just trying someone's trying to make me seem like no you're not that significant but you have your suspicions about someone that's watching you, okay? Like I said, somebody has their eye on you. And for some of you, it's a neighbor. 
Like I said, somebody knows exactly what they're doing. They are intentionally trying to piss you off. And like I said, it could be going on online. Other people might be taking notice of it. Other people might be suspicious of it as well. Or maybe somebody's not surprised. Maybe somebody saw it coming. That sort of thing. But definitely it feels like somebody is watching you online. Or maybe you're spending a lot of time on the internet. Kind of like wasting time. Yeah, you are getting, you're signing on the dotted line. This feels like this is a lease or like I said, the purchase of a home. For others of you, this is a job. You're landing some sort of deal. For some of you, you're waiting for a court situation and it seems like it finally comes through, maybe after some delays. And maybe it feels like the answer to something, the answer to a court situation brings you some sort of peace where you feel like you can move forward. Yeah, somebody did pass. Maybe this is the anniversary of someone's passing and maybe you're trying to kind of heal from this. If someone did pass, you have this card that says confusion and secret. Maybe there's some things about someone's passing that might still be kind of covered up. I don't know, some of you having a seance, going to someone's wake. Because it seems like you might be seeing spirits exactly. You're thinking about someone in the past. And it seems like this might bring you some sort of sadness this week. Yeah, you might need... It seems like somebody could possibly be, um, for some of you, um, accusing you of a crime. Yeah, that might be why you might need a legal or get some sort of legal advice. Yeah, it seems like you're really concerned about someone's intention. You have this card here that says tread, treading carefully. This feels like you're concerned about someone's intention that's around you or around someone that you feel is naive and impressionable. But definitely, this feels like someone is trying to spread gossip, rumors, and it seems like someone could possibly be trying to convince other people through gossip to believe something. I don't know. Maybe it is true. I haven't looked into it. Yeah, somebody's definitely worried about rejection. Okay. You got to get to the DMV. Like you got a laundry list of things that you might need to get done. And maybe one of them has something to do with... Um, getting to um, the DMV. Maybe you, you may need to get your license, renew your license, your registration. You work around some crazy people. You might feel that way, especially if you work on the internet. The advice, Holy Speak for this Holy Spirit this week for the Aries Nation. Self-love. You have this card that says self-hatred. And now we're talking about self-love. Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. So definitely, this is the week where I feel like you're really turning within. I said, there's some old issues here that may be kind of haunting you. Yeah. And these things might be affecting different parts of your life. It might be causing you to second guess yourself or feel like maybe certain people are attacking you when they really don't intend to. And it feels like it's causing you to second guess every single decision that you're making. It has something to do with that. And it definitely feels like it's time to clear your energy. Because if I didn't mention it, no, I think I did. I mentioned to you that you have some negative energy that's coming at you from someone or you are the one that's giving off this negative energy. So I definitely feel like this is the week to clear this energy away. So this feels like you're setting aside some time for yourself this week. Yes, exactly, to work through the deeper issues, the root of the problem, the root of the issue here. You have this card that says deadbeat. Like I said, it feels like there's some sort of issue with rejection of a parent. 
or there was a parent that was absent that wasn't around. Or someone you just had a parent that was just very critical. Whatever the case, surrender comes right out. So it feels like you're working through this. Surrender. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the universe. Yes, I think you're going through an ego death. In other words, this feels like maybe you're trying to to put to to put on the you know you, you want your hands to be on the the driving wheel the steering wheel of life, and maybe this isn't that time right now. It feels like now is the time of waiting, and so your guides are saying during this time when you're waiting, the best thing you could possibly do is to surrender. That feels like that's your friend, that's your ally this week, is to surrender and wait and be patient. You cast a spell with your existence. Magic flows brightly and radiantly within you. I mentioned to you, I think you're witchy. Or you're around someone that may be casting a spell. But I think people are very interested in what you say, what you have to say. I think people are captivated by you. But for others, it feels like some people may be feeling mediocre around you or vice versa. It's time for a change. Do not wait or put off decisions any longer. We have this card that says waiting. If this has something to do with a decision, and I just spoke about that, you feel like you can't seem to make a decision or you don't have all of the pieces of the puzzle, based, so to speak, to kind of figure out your situation, to figure out maybe the best course of action to take in your situation. Once again, surrender. It feels like you're going to be shown the answer this week. If you're in the mind frame to be able to hear it, the lesson, yeah, you are impatient. Something's going to require you to wait. The lesson was about self-worth. And I think in hindsight, maybe as you kind of detach from the situation and reflect on it, maybe you're kind of coming to see that maybe there it, it did have something to do with your own childhood issues. You got this card that's talking about inner child and insecurity. There's something that maybe you see now in hindsight about the situation, about maybe what caused you to, what, what may have um, attracted this person into your life, is those feelings of insecurity, self-hatred, and it seems like you're healing from that. Trust. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. This is exactly the situation that you're in right now. We talked about surrender. That's your lesson this week, is to trust. One of the lessons this week is to trust. And let go. And let things unfold the way that they need to. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. And God is in control or whomever you believe in spiritually, if you don't believe in God, take it however it applies. But it definitely feels like there's a higher power that has things in store for you. In some situations, Aries Nation is just going to be necessary to kind of wait it out. With that, Aries Nation, this concludes your seven day forecast with Angelic Ascensions. We feel that this reading was helpful, Aries Nation. Help me out by giving this video a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. Thank you for deciding to spend this time with me. Have a blessed, productive, and beautiful birthday month. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, Aries Nation.